In this exercise, you're going to learn how to declare and use an array in a program. So what the program does, it asks the user for five integer values, which will then be stored in an array, and then the average of the numbers in that array will be calculated and displayed. To save time, I've already created the interface. So let's just go through all the elements. So I have an, a text box called TXT input, and that is where the user will provide the five numbers. Then I have an add button. So the user will type a number, click on add, and that will place the number in the array. Once we've added five numbers, you can then click on the average button to um, calculate the average of the five numbers in the array. Now, just to make this interface user-friendly, I started by making the average button disabled. So I set its um, enabled property to false, so that when you run the program, only the add button will be available. What, I, what I'm then going to do in the program, when the user has entered the fifth value, so the user has now entered five values, the add button will become disabled and the average button will become enabled. This is just so that there are no input errors. I'm going to start by creating the click event handler for the add button. Now what we want to do in here is to take the value that the user has entered into the text into the text box and place it into the array. But we have to now first declare the array. So I could declare the array inside this add click event handler. But because I know that later on I will also want to access the array from the average buttons event handler. I'm going to declare the array on form level just outside the event handler. So I'm going to say int numbers is equal to new int 5. And then I'm going to also declare an index variable count, or you can call it i, that I will set equal to zero in the beginning. Okay, so just to repeat, I declare um, these two variables on form level so that I can access them from both the add event handler as well as the average event handler. If I declared it inside the button add click event handler and later on I wanted to access them from the um, average buttons event handler, it, I would have run into problems. Okay, so I'm just going to say form variable declarations. And now in here we can just say numbers count is equal to now I want to put the text box value into here but the text box is um, the, the text property is a string so I have to convert so I'm going to say convert to int 32 text input dot text Okay, and then I'm going to add one to the counter because when I click on the button again, I then want to place the next element or the next value entered into the next element of the numbers array. Okay, so I have the numbers array. It takes five elements. We have a counter. We could, could also call it index, anything that you prefer. Um, and then... When the user clicks on the Add button, it will take whatever is in the text box and place it into the element with index count. Okay. I'm going to run the program just to show you what we have up to now. Okay, so I can now enter a value 3, click on Add, then... 5, click on add, 
then seven click on add and so on now there are some problems here because it's not very user friendly because once I clicked on the add button the number stays there ideally we want to enter a value if I click on add the value should disappear from the text box and the cursor should be placed into the text box so that the user can easily add the next value another thing is the user won't know when they've added five numbers so they'll have to keep count so we want to work out a mechanism to tell them that they've now entered the five numbers okay so let's do that all of that now okay so the first thing is every time I've added a number I want to clear the text box I just do that with the clear method but then I also want to make it the active component I want to place the cursor back into the text box and we do that with the focus method okay so this statement will empty the text box and this statement will place the cursor in the text box so that the user can just type okay um, then to make sure that the user enters only five values I'm going to test the value of count so count is going to start at zero remember an array's index first index is zero so in this case the index of the last element will be four so the moment count becomes five we know that we must stop so what I'm going to do I'm going to put an if statement here which says if count is equal to five I am going to disable the um, add button okay so I'm going to say btn add dot um, enabled is equal to false what I also want to do remember we made, made the average button this, we disabled the average button to begin with at this point we now also want to enable the average button so I will have to add uh, brackets here and say button average dot enabled is equal to true like that right so when the user clicks on the add button it will place what's in the text box in the next element of the array move the counter on and it will clear the input box it will set the focus on that input box then it will test have I entered all five numbers in other words is count now five if it is we disable the button add and we enable button average okay let's just run the program and see if everything works fine okay so I don't need to count now I can depend on the program to tell me when I'm done so you can see the cursor now stays there and there you go so now the add button is um, disabled so I know I can't add anything more even if I do put something in there if I click on that add nothing will happen because it's disabled but now I can click on average but I haven't created the average event handle so that will be our next step okay so open up the average click event so now I can just go and add up all the values in the array and then divide them by five so I'm gonna to add them up I'm going to create a variable called sum which I'm going to initialize to zero okay and then I'm going to use a for loop and the for loop will the in, in, in the counter of the for loop will go from zero up to four so I'm going to test for less than five 
and increment by one and then inside the for loop I now want to add every element of the array to sum I'm going to say sum is equal to sum plus and then numbers which is my array and I okay We could also have written it as plus equal numbers. Okay, so what's happening here? I will go from zero up to four. For each value of I, we will access that element of numbers, add it to sum until we've added all. Then the last step is to calculate the average. Okay, so. I can also go and declare a double dot average and then we can say average is equal to sum divided by 5.0 and I make it 5.0 because average is double and we cannot um, have both values there as integers if we want to assign it to a double. Okay, and if we don't make this a double, we might lose the decimal part of the answer. The last step is to display the answer in the message box. And let's say average uh, Average is plus and then convert to string average. Okay, I'm just going to run it and make sure I haven't made a mistake. So I'm going to add the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and disables, average is 3. Okay. 